How's it going guys and girls? My as well six. Welcome to a FIFA 16 squad builder. Yes, I haven't done one of these in nearly a year actually because the last one I did one was when FIFA kit first came out, which was about September, so not far off it, but a long long time since I've done one. Basically I didn't play FIFA for a long time and um, since I just didn't enjoy the gameplay. I must agree that it's not as good as it was last year. I don't know, maybe that's because I'm a pace ho, who knows. But anyway, today I've got a cheap little market crash um, squad builder. Since maybe you spend quite a lot of money on the drafts and packs and you want to, you know, just get a team going with a cheap one, you know, just to play some games and, um, you know, while you're trying to earn more clients to go in the draft, etc. So, yeah, let's get straight into this. So, in that we have pairing two centre backs, Di Mayo and Juan Jesus. Di Mayo's actually a really good centre back. His stats, and well, his pace may say otherwise. His actual stats may not look that good, but he's actually a really good defender. He's very good at interceptions too. Um, great player. Juan Jesus, you can't go wrong with him. He's an absolute tank. He's like the smalling of um, Syria. So, he's amazing. Right back, we have Mykon. Can't go wrong with Mykon. Brilliant player. Left back, Tremolinos. He's probably one of my favourite left backs on this game. He's quite an attacking left back. Which I do like. He's got a really good long shot on him too. Um, but he's he's all around a really good player. He's got some really really good stats. Obviously, going with him, we have to have his partner in crime, Gregory Krajšovic. So that when um, uh, Tremolinos goes up, Krajšovic normally covers because he's got high defensive work rate. Um, Tremolinos has a high defensive work rate too, so it sort of sort of works out. So in left wing, we've got the OP left winger this year. That's Kanonplayanka. Very very cheap player and a really amazing player with some crazy stats. Um, if you haven't used this guy before, then you should really try and get your hands on him because he's an amazing player. Um, you see 18 games, 8 goals there, um, but that's uh, not because he's actually the main player in this team. He's not the best player in this team, but he's definitely a very very good player. He gets a lot of goals and a lot of assists. But as you will see soon, there's a much better player in this team. So. In centre defensive mid, we have uh, Luis Gustavo. He's an absolute rock, and um, covering the two centre backs there, um, and also the right back because Mykon does sometimes drift up, and he doesn't normally work back. So Luis Gustavo usually covers him quite well. Callum Hongley, what a player! Oh my God, his free kicks are insane. If you haven't used this free, if you haven't just used this card in general, then you really should. He's got an amazing long shot on him. A really really good finesse shot on him too. His free kicks are godly, honestly, so so good. And um, definitely get him out. Right wing, we've got the upgraded Douglas Costa. He could just go for the normal one. Vice our skills. He was mint last year and he's even better this year. And um, yeah. The main player in this team, Javier Hernandez, 15 goals, 12 games, and 7 assists. If that's not good, then I don't know what is. Is the upgraded Hernandez? He's got some really good stats. He's overall an amazingly underrated striker. Not many people will use him. He's not going to be the first choice in Bundesliga as it's like Aubameyang um, and Lewandowski. But Hernandez is an insane player. You've got to go use him. So, this team is going to cost probably around 20 um, to 40k. Depends on like the upgrades that you want to buy and whatnot. Um, so go pick this out, it's a really really good squad and it's going to help you get through some divisions. So yeah, um, let's get into the highlights of this team. So this team is really really good for its price. It's very very cheap and it's, it gets you wins quite easily. Um, the main players in the team has got to be Hernandez, he just scores so many freaking goals. It, he's unstoppable honestly, he's a crazy crazy player. Kanon Playanka too, he's a really good player. The centre back um, Di Maio is actually really good. In, he's very very strong on the ball. Actually, he's really good at interceptions. He's always there when you need him. Not not great at tracing back, um, but he's he's quite probably the rock in the centre back. And um, holds things down out of the two centre backs. Um, Douglas Costa is a really really good player too. Callum Hongwu is perfect for the camp position. The whole team has really good chemistry, it all flows really well, as you can see there, the passing's really great on it. Tiki Taka, you can do that quite easily with this team. 
since the players seem to be able to create the space extremely e easily. And so overall, I'd say it seems absolutely insane for the price that you're paying for it. Only between 20, 20 to 40k, depending on the players, like what type of players you're gonna buy. And it's just insane. It's a mad team. Um, even the goalkeeper pairing, you might be doubtful of him, but he's actually really, really good. Nearly as good as Buffon. I, I rate Buffon as probably the best keeper in the game. Uh, since he's, whenever I play with him, he's always, always absolutely insane in that he never lets a go in. But enough about Buffon pairing. He's nearly as good as him. He, he's actually really, really good for a cheap player like him. He's got some insane reflexes. Um, and he's just a crazy player. So, hopefully you guys and girls enjoyed this video. We even made this guy a rage crit as you'll see in a moment. Because this team is just absolutely destroying people. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode guys and girls, please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. See ya.